Hello again, it's Tim from Oracle Base. Okay. In this video, we're going to take a look at creating empty pluggable databases. When we want to create a new pluggable database, we have to start by connecting to the root container. When you create an empty pluggable database, what you're really doing is performing a clone of the seed database. In addition to specifying the pluggable database name and the admin user and password, we have to tell Oracle how to convert the data file names from the seed database into our new pluggable database. Here we're using the file name convert clause of the create pluggable database statement. Alternatively, we can specify the PDB file name convert initialization parameter before calling the command. If we were using Oracle Managed Files, we wouldn't have to worry about any of these conversions because Oracle does it for us. The DBA PDBs view shows us the pluggable databases have been created, but they currently have a status of new. We can also see them in the VDollar PDBs view. A pluggable database must be opened in read write mode at least once for the integration of the pluggable database into the container to be complete. This is done using the alter pluggable database open read write command. Once this is done, the pluggable databases have a status of normal. Not surprisingly, they now have an open mode of read write. If you want to get rid of a pluggable database, you have to first close it and then drop it. Once dropped, they're no longer visible in the VDollar PDBs view. You can also manage pluggable databases using the Database Configuration Assistant, Cloud Control or SQL Developer. Examples of those are shown in the linked article. Thanks for watching. Check out the links in the description box. Like the video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more.